In this video, I'll provide you with an overview of the slideshow editor. Now there are more detailed videos on different parts of the editor, but this one's just more high level at this time. So first, let's start at the top here. You can provide a name for the slideshow, how it will appear um, on the class homepage when students see it, and even in the content repository. Below that is the slides area. This is where you design the slides themselves, create new ones, and also adjust the audio and timing for the slides. So up here on the left is where you go to manage the slide order and apply themes and templates. On the right here uh, is where you go to design the slide, the actual content within the slide. And below that is how you then um, will add audio or transition markers or pause markers to the slideshow itself. Now below that is slide feedback, notes, author notes, algorithm, and custom CSS. Now one thing I want to make sure you are aware is that uh, what you type here for slide feedback is applicable to just the current slide you've selected above here on the left. So this is what students see when they complete each slide in the gradebook itself. Slide notes are what students will see at the bottom of the slideshow if they choose to. This usually includes things like transcripts or uh, additional information on the slide itself. And slide author notes. So you can type information here that only authors will see when they enter in the slideshow editor. So students will not see what you type in here. And again, these three items right here, feedback notes and author notes, are applicable to individual slides itself. Now, algorithm and custom CSS apply to the entire slideshow. Algorithm is, of course, where you type in algorithmic variables to use within your slides. You can, of course, use designer to help you make some and refresh the algorithm to see a preview of the variables. And below that is the custom CSS. This is uh, how you can apply custom CSS to the slides then change the style and look and feel of a slideshow. And at the very bottom, of course, is navigation buttons that help you, you know, save and close and return to the repository. You can save and continue by clicking this button right here. Preview allows to preview the entire slideshow, whereas preview slide just shows you the current slide, and cancel will discard what you've done and return you back to the content repository. So that concludes the overview of the slideshow editor.